<laughs> all right welcome to offcast we did uh, this is the second game of the uh, night on de mar by g uh, not jinx but twinny rather and uh mercedes cucumber his who's uh, alias flying peas uh yeah the first game was definitely a little bit not gonna say ct sided but it was um definitely the other team sided and uh this time around it's me and nordic here hello how did the last game go uh, the last game went flat, 16 to 6. 16 to pretty, 6, yeah. Pretty quick beat down. Hatsik had a historic 13 assists, if I, if I remember correctly, or something like that. And, uh, yeah, it did. Speaking of Hatsik, he's pushing into the bomb side, trying to retake. The bomb is bomb is planted on the B bomb side. Now it's Vendi and Twini on the bomb side, defending. And uh, yeah, retake is not going to happen. There was an attempt, but it didn't happen. Yeah, so uh, something to say about the the map. There is definitely on on both bomb sides, there is a is a main plant that is open to the main. It's very like kind of easy to do. It's the default plant, and uh, very slow CT rotations. You really want to have that mid under control as a CT, so you can have a quick rotation to the both of the bomb sides. Kind of reminiscent of, uh, of of maps like Season or uh, well my my map the Astra, which this map also has a resemblance to with the lower connector there. Mids on the second round. What did I say? Mids? Yeah. I said I meant to say T's on the second round. Pushing into the mid, getting three opening kills, and now it's again, uh, Zeta and Vincent on the CT time. Yeah, indeed, a late round instead of. Uh, if Vincent doesn't get that uh, ace with the P250, or was that a P2000? 1 versus 5 clutch. Unheard of from Vincent, I gotta say. Actually, they only see the only CT on the CT team who has the P2000 equipped. I love that. Everyone else rocking the USP. Now going with the definitely a weird choice of purchase here. Vincent has 4,000 bucks in his pocket, but Dev chooses to go with the Dually. He's not a very uh, team player. What can I say? Uh, I think that was a J call from the other casting team. Can't be. He called for Vincent to buy the Dualies for the memes. Maybe, maybe. In the, in the spirit of, uh, of, of J play. Jinx almost hitting By that way, nice little... Vincent being almost the solo player now. He did getting a kill. Oh, that getting was a nice two kills thing. with those duelies, showing why he bought them instead of the rifle. Right. Being the only player to get the kills in the round and actually two of them. Yeah, scrap scrap that all that trash talk and Vincent actually that, that paid off but definitely what he could do. He's gonna he's gonna buy an AWP now. Look at this. I think an auto sniper. Oh, another no. another set of dualies. Okay, just does that, the that's dualies a, again. yeah, that's a good good choice for the eco run. He could be dropping some SMGs for the team, and they could all buy uh, all force by it just based on that one single uh, economical uh, pillar. Love God actually buys the hero rifle. I don't think that was communicated. I think that was an accident. No, buy. that might be might be a little bit of an accident coming from from an AFK situation that's there. True. What is uh, Love God's uh, alias on Discord? Again? Caesar. 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 Right. There's some A pushing coming from the happening from the T side. They have the boost going on. Twinny gets the kill from the boost. That's actually really nice. Zeta yeah. actually jumping into that. Twinny wouldn't have seen him unless he jumped there, yeah. which was kind of unlucky. We'll see Nelson pushing now through the connector and gets two kills on the remaining CT players. Nelson rocking that that number K player model. I love that. I, I have that too. Steak. The condom had. Player skin has actually risen in price from 30 or 20 euros to all the way to 50 euros right now. Yeah. So that is quite an expensive player skin right now. It, it's, it's been like consistently on the more expensive side of, uh, of player agent skins, but it's uh, it definitely has uh, risen up in price dram dramatically, as they say. Nice nade line up coming from Vice. We'll see if that nade hit goes anywhere. Actually explodes in the, in the most open spot of the middle, but that was a nice attempt there. Bomb is actually dropped behind the T's now going into the B bomb side. There's not much movement happening on the T side. Actually, scratch that. The T's have completely overtaken the B bomb side, but there's no remaining CTs in there. Now they're rotating in based on the voice comms. And um, Bomb is getting planted on the B bomb side. There's nothing. But it is a 5v3 three, three take here. Should be CTs winning this one, but uh, Vendi getting the first one. Making this a lot difficult, a lot more difficult for the CTs immediately. Yeah. And there goes Twinny getting the second one already. Zeta is pushing into the A main. 
fifth with Vincent, and uh, Vincent gets the gun down. Atsy getting the kill here. This is Atsy's game to shine. Now it's one versus Ooh, one. He's the one one against Winnie. Atsy hears that Twinnie moving in the in the heaven. Twinnie is going to bait the shot. Scopes in. He has to peek because that could have been a deep use peek. Doesn't get the kill, and that's just well played from Twinnie baiting that op. Uh, very patient from Atsik to actually um, count, the, count the baits and uh, take it very slow there, but not enough, not enough. That heaven is a really powerful retaking area for uh, for the map. I'd say that definitely reminds me of Mirage Palace, but maybe even more powerful. The only thing that is kind of weakening is that, that the wall is definitely wall bangable with an orb. So right yeah. there, even Atsik could have got the, the kill. Yeah, the the thing that's the thing is that the most like uh, like powerful and favorable plant for the T side is towards the main, but the the probably the strongest position to defend the bomb is like from that heaven position. So if you can get the best best of the both worlds, like planting under that little edge of the bomb side there, then that, then that's that's what you want to do. Uh, I like the bomb side positioning though under like straight under that heaven it can lead to some. Exciting, funny situations. One little where... thing we miss, missed here is that uh, CTs were going on a bit of a force buy, and Seda was on a SMG, pushing through the fire and the flames on the T side of mid, pushing through the fire, getting the kill, stealing the AK, and leaving to tell the story. That was pretty cool. Yeah, pretty also, damn cool. also I was uh, I was so so mesmerized by the design of the bomb site and the <clears throat> terrorist planting positions that I completely missed at the start of the round, but we do have some action going into late round as well. Both CTs are split between the bomb sites, one on A, one on B, and the Ts are now pushing into B bomb site, getting to deal with Zeta's awesome spray. The twenty with that. Look at that tracking. That was so good from Zeta. Not really able to get that kill yet, and Twinny is just hitting his shots. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm speechless. Yet another, on that. Yet another Twinny versus Atsik one v one here yeah. at the late round retake situation. Atsik opened the door uh, behind the wall, so this could, just based on the information, um, Atsik could be anywhere. He could be in CT or he could be in the uh, connector side, but now he's, he has stuck the bomb. He has actually tapped the bomb once, going in for the aggressive spray now. Atsik has to do something about Twinny here. Mollies him out and actually pushes the molly. Does that he was have time? very. Yeah, he has, to, he has time. He has way enough time. Oh, he has a kit. That was well played. Ooh. That was well played. Just finding the random Molotov on the ground and actually using that to a great effect. That was not... Atsik not, hmm? not knowing this, but Twinny was quite far and he actually could have stuck the def defuse there. Yeah. I think. It's just way better to uh, to just... If you have a scent on the player if you, and you have the tools to, to snap him out, then go for it. Definitely. Now flying piece here on a clock, I think AFK at the beginning of the round. I wonder if he'll get on the server to buy guns before. He might be coming back. He's he's here. Buy he's back. Men. There we he's go. He's back. He gets the gun. Now we see a little bit of a default here from the T side. Actually getting the opening from an aggressive CT of Caesar. And uh, they are going to mid here carefully. Three CTs the first in kill the there. It's actually unheard also of on this map. Three though. CTs in the middle. Zeta getting a crazy shot on the twenty peaking that with the AWP. I thought it was Zeta who was peaking the AWP angle from the right side. And now it's it, this map is very mid-heavy and I I really do like the extensive gameplay that's happening in the middle. I really do like it. Vincent's think... flanking from the main gets gunned down by Hex. Zeta now waiting for the kill. Nelson is low though, so Zeta might be getting the kill. Nice little Ooh, flick look at there. That flick. I don't know if Hex heard them, but Zeta just has the aim and the positioning to uh, deal with Four that. Four kills and the hero play 2v1 to get that round back. I think the reason that the map is so mid-heavy is because there is... Uh, it's really only a three-lane map. There is like a uh, three contact points. There is mid, A and B. And other than that, it is mostly just mid. And mid has both... Good connections to both A and B. If you get that, you get a lot of map control. So this is only want to take control of mid and cities also want to co control it yep. so that is why we're seeing so many uh, so much mid play i gotta say that this map is like definitely on, <clears throat> a little bit on the slower side of things but it, it is a big map though so that's where the uh slowness and the, the rotations are quite slow as well so 
Um, Missing the beginning of the round again. Zeta gets actually two kills straight off. It's a great opening, but the T's have taken this B site. Zeta really showing up right now on the server. Hex missing the smoke onto the heaven now. CTs have a little bit, a little bit more of an opening actually to retake that bomb site. Jinx now creeping into the scope. Twinny, Twinny gets an amazing headshot there onto, onto but he's a little bit cornered here. So is Zeta there getting the kill onto Twinny now? Ooh, five shot off. Is probably going in for the ace now. Hex is kind of stuck in the corner. Zeta mi Oi. just misses the headshot there with the five seven. It's Set Almost gets HP the ace. The that would have been such a beautiful round from Zeta, but yeah. And you can see that this kind of puts the CTs at an awkward position where Zeta, with those kills, is able to buy an all, but the rest are barely able to buy anything really. Yeah, they they really do. Uh, they really do have to uh, to force up and uh, and you know it's just those those people playing on the CT side with that thousand or um, or that two thousand, they should buy at least armor, pistol, and full utility to to do something. They, they really are not. Maybe the aggressiveness of the T side now, or rather the CT side, excuse me, it, it, it might actually compensate a little bit more as Atsik and Nelson and Vincent is getting... <laughs> Nelson gets a lucky shot. Actually, nice Nelson spray with that. that set up the first kill, but has to get so many more. Gets the second one, actually. Zeta is popping off with those kills. Oh, gets the third one. Hex, no scope on the 20. Oh God, that is a fourth one. No! Zeta, you are whiffing the last kill. That's absolute... What, what, what can you even call that? Lunacy with that AWP. Getting every round, he gets four kills with the AWP and just misses the last shot. Absolute hero play here. And Caesar yeah. is out in the open getting a gun. Understandably doing that, but... Uh... That's going to be so, like, frustrating. Getting four kills and then missing the last one. And, and your team choking after all of that effort putting into that. That's that's. I mean, that's I, don't, I don't think you can call that choking on uh, Caesar, Caesar's part. That's... Round was uh, lost, five 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 v two situation there when Zeta gets and leaves uh, Caesar with a in a one v one against an AWP with a shotgun. Yeah, a... I mean you can call that choking because Caesar was like so out positioned in a situation where uh, the the CT the whole of CT team knows where Nelson is and he's just alone there in the main and uh, it's a two v one situation against like. Well, Atsik actually getting yeah. totally on overwhelmed here in mid where Jinx isn't really helping him with the peak more like waiting for the aggression onto that A connector but they do end up going B so they end up they, they do end up going C T the the, the T's yeah the C T spawn which is kind of rare on this map afterwards. since there's so much map but yeah just there they gotta be fast on their feet now smoke's going down for Nelson to actually plant into that smoke and the T excuse me C T players are now outside b bomb side trying to retake there they don't know they're getting the first one with the shotgun now has an ak so there's actually some play to be made here especially with uh merciless cucumber having still that tech nine only yeah. and now the cities have realized that the bomb is actually planted on the a bomb side and not the b and um that call must have come from jinx as he was closer to the bomb side but jinx get this gets the spray on nelson they know that there's one player flanking and that was uh vice has in uh, flying peas, getting that shot onto the lurking player. Yeah, the retake's just not gonna happen as, in, as there's no time, nor a kit, nor the positioning on Jinx to get that. Way better to just save that AK. Indeed. Can we do a bit of a scoreboard analysis looking at these kills? Scoreboard. Scoreboard, yeah, as I expected. And uh, yeah. Zeta, Zeta definitely showing up for that team. I think the different players need to start showing up. Jinx was really hitting those shots last game, but not really showing up with this one. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the positioning and the, the, the team econo econo economy has definitely shown its uh, its importance here. They always have some, like one position uh, kind of bleeding through where the T's are just able to overwhelm all the CTs. Twinny getting that kill onto Vincent on that early peak on uh, on B-Bomb side. Twinny pushing in. Actually sneaking through jinx but jinx does get killed there doesn't get the sneaky sneaky back rank kill there that's it that's now it looking yeah. to get the hex and the bomb is actually pushing through the main twinny is trying to get a very far uh pushed position here atsik and twinny face to face atsik gets a kill on the twinny that's gonna be upsetting personally for atsik i mean uh excuse me twinny as they are kind of a kind of a pair of rivals in in the in a way Bomb is now planted on the, uh, actually on the main side, but that's 
sorry, excuse me, on the bomb side, side uh, more towards the CTs and Atsik in the heaven smokes off the main. Bendy is looking smoke. for this sneaky kill here, Hearing but the positions. he didn't kill at the back. Doesn't check it. Two orbs on the CT side, now one orb on the hands of Caesar. Main is smoked, but there's no time Caesar has to. With the tail between his legs, scurry off from there. He's got the knife. Now looking a bit dire here on the CT side. Olaf, what do you say this map is City of Decided? Did you see? I can't say, I can't yeah, say, I can't true. say. Uh, maybe the, like, you know, just from one connector get, getting the mid, which is like, it's on paper, it's very CT, like CT favored. CTs get it first, but then if you get the connectors as a T, you get like two more, um, two more entrances. Actually, you get the push to CT very easily from the CT. Exactly, the and control. also on paper, the three lanes of, and the three choke points of the map should also favor the CT. So on paper, this is a CT-sided map. Nelson getting an absolutely disgusting shot with the AK-47 of the Caesar. Did you get the pawn a couple of rounds earlier? Or la last I round? It. When I said uh, Caesar, well, look God with, the, with, with, with his tail between its legs. It's running away uh, from the, like loop as in a lupus, as in a wolf. Lupus, lupus. Yeah. It was not intended. Oh, Twinny! Didn't, didn't see Vincent here, but now he hears him. Vincent didn't, I don't think, see him either, because no. he's just running past here. Maybe maybe he did, but he didn't really see where um, Twinny was going into. This is really exciting seeing. Yeah, now he just comes face to face with Vice. I think Twinny's going to be a bit frustrated with that. He was just looking, looking for that maybe knife or something, and uh, his kill got stolen there. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Now Nelson and Twinny, both on the bomb side. Zeta seriously... Yeah, Zeta is actually probably trying to go for this, since he is really hitting his shots. We've seen Zeta do he these He didn't miracles. pick up the defuse kit. There was defuse kit on the ground. He just didn't pick it up, and that could be the decider of this round. It's a nice flashbang from Twinny. Yes, the first one, off of heaven. Second one is in that T connector, no, that CT connector, and turning his backs right now is Zeta. He has no, no information on the whereabouts of Twini. Here and, uh, Twini saw Zeta not sticking the fuse, and uh, he's gonna be just toying with him. Yeah, look at that nade. A wall bang here is needed for Zeta, but he doesn't pull it, and uh, Twini's just bouncing around, having yeah. fun with Zeta. Ooh, even getting the kill at the end. That could have been a decider between the having a diffuse kit and not having a diffuse kit if if the kill just come uh, came to play. That wall is very wall bangable even with the op. I mean, with, with the op and even with the deagle and probably AK forty seven slash M four there. So he could have gone for the wild wall bang there. Another kind of weird buy here from the CT team, where Zeta and Ats Atsik actually. More like save. I think they tried to leave 2k, but Caesar not doing that. Yeah, they pr they're getting... probably just forcing, and uh, the frustration definitely, is, definitely must be building up on the CT side, as in it's 2 to 10. It's not going that well from the for the rest of the t CT team. It doesn't feel like the CTs are that much outclassed. It more like feels like they don't have the communication, and they're just choking up those plays that they should be winning. Look at this, Vincent actually coming into the flank position here, sees Twinny. Vincent kills Twinny! This is a historical yeah, yeah. moment, makes a ton of noise coming down from that, but that's already uh, a job well done. Atsy getting that kill onto Twinny, uh, excuse me, Vendi, and uh, Vincent might get another flank positioning here on Twice. No, with, with no armor you can't stick that spray, and uh, it's it's one... Uh, if, if, the, if the player op um, in the offense gets one hit in you, uh, into you, you're gonna uh, screw up your spray, and that's exactly what happened there. With... That is true. Putting the graffiti down, definitely giving Atsik info, but Atsik also smoking this, so giving info right back to... It's gonna fake flash with that gun Vice and Atsik going down. Yeah, that's upsetting to see. Absolutely upsetting to see. Actually, the, the CTs had a, such a good run um, going into that round. They they got... They, the T's almost got echoed there, and uh, with... Considerably like less firepower. They only had like a couple deagles and, and whatnot. So definitely, you know. definitely a uh, choke. Atsi says that uh, flake, uh, fake flash didn't work, but I did see him. He didn't flinch. Of... He didn't flinch. 
All right. Yeah, it didn't work. He didn't flinch, and uh, but he just got out, out aimed and uh, a uh, crosshair adjustment based on the probably, fact probably. of where the um, where the uh, fake flash came from. But yeah, didn't get the shot off. Kind of slow with the reaction times. Especially compared to the fact that uh, coming from the smoke, you see the player last. It isn't here. I want to see what's going to happen here. He's pop flashing down like that. It actually catches off four, excuse me, three of the T's in the main. Another underhand nade. That's actually huge onto Nelson. Does how much damage was that? O almost over 30. Now the bomb is on the bomb side on Nelson. And the CTs are going into the retake. Two in that short heaven there. Zeta at the helm with the AWP gets, uh, gets gunned down by Vice. And Jinx gets also gunned down. That's Hex with that negative at helm. And Atsik is going to also get gunned down by Twini with that AK. 2 to 12 now. It's definitely a little bit, seems to be a little bit of a T-sided map. If not the teams uh, being... I think it might be the teams here. I don't think Twini should be drawing the conclusion of this map being T-sided. I think he should be drawing the conclusion that this is... Uh, Communication sided. And also not joking sided. Sorry, I'm uh, eating some chocolate here. Meanwhile, Zeta is pushing up, getting two kills with the MP9. Twin is holding that angle with the all. Mm. Nice. Now we, now we see round. the rest of the team. Yeah. Those four players who haven't aren't really showing up, and we see Bendy taking two of them down immediately. Zeta really setting the foundation for this round but it is now only down to Jinx as Vendi gets those three and it is looking like another T round once again Zeta doing the work and then it not really ending Look at this. The Jinx is running away from the bomb side. The bomb is actually getting planted there right as Jinx is leaving from the bomb side. Okay, we, we can already de deduct the ending of this round as this in game is making me depressed. <laughs> <laughs> uh that's shady coming from yeah, yeah. I, I can't move. I, I, I didn't think it's true. I can <laughs> move you into the other one. Good yeah. health. Two for two for CT's 13 rounds for T. Yeah. I think the CT team here should be naming themselves to Zera and Co. in this match. We'll see if any of them can show up on the T side, actually turn this around. But if they can, that will again show the fact that uh, the map might be decided but uh personally i don't believe it yeah from what i've seen i definitely think that like with little effort t's can get quite a lot of map control and that mid is definitely uh t-sided to i mean ct sided to begin with as in t's have to like you know get the sidelines in there but now as we can see ct's have completely overwhelmed every single Ooh, position Atsik in gets the, the double Atsik, kill there Atsik is actually tapping some heads doesn't realize that uh, Vice is here on 16 HP. It could have been a really easy kill from him yeah. for him. If, if he, does, if he doesn't hunt those heads, it, it, it's just team team communication has come into play. Shoot him in the Oof. in the, the. I don't want to say the F word, but just shoot him. Shoot him in the fucking chest or something. Even in the leg could be enough. I don't want to say the F word, but uh, fucking hell. Fucking hell. Vincent, Wait, don't choke! No, don't choke! <laughs> this is now needing to get that one shot with 5 that eagle, HP yeah. on Twini. I'm not sure Vincent knows how dire of a situation Twini is now in. Yeah. Twini just running away. And I think Vincent's just gonna go go and get this plant here. This could be disasters. Side. Yeah, what Vincent needs to do right now is to plant the bomb as quickly as possible and play time. There's no way that Twini is actually getting the retake, clearing everything, since he, he is so low on, on, on HP. I think and, the only uh, thing Vincent here needs to do is not get surprised, which is not looking good. Oh, that Twini, is but not... Twini doesn't have the time to actually sneak around, but he has to make sure that Vincent doesn't hear him. Well, He's that is not doing Coming from that the heaven, job. and now Vincent does hear Twini coming in. This gunfire oh. is getting sprayed around, and Vincent come, comes in for the clutch. For the fourth kill of the game, though, Beautiful. for this T side here, it is not... Uncommon for those mm. players to be on single digits though on this half. It's crazy. Actually, actual crazy. Looking at the other side, we can see that Twinny is indeed showing up the most, but Hex only has six kills, I would 
suspect him to be uh, higher than that, judging by the fact that the cities have 13 rounds now. Yeah, but the, the kill difference of, of both of the rounds, there has been many of the rounds that just end up in like a... Um, what we call it, like one versus one situation, so that the kills are quite evenly um, divided here between the players on both teams. Hatsik is very well positioned. Excuse me, what am I saying? Twinny gets two kills onto the bomb side. There was one CT in that little house there. That was uh, that was Mercer's cucumber, aka Vice. Speaking off, gets a nice little spray onto Zeta trying to plant the bomb. Zeta shouldn't have gone for the plant there. They they didn't have the communication of uh, actually clearing the bomb site. Now Hex getting the spray on the Vincent, but yeah, this was actually a forced buy from the CT round. So this definitely should be a one a round they are winning. Uh, these are winning, I mean. And now Hex. There we go. That's a beautiful spray from Jinx. Yeah. The T's definitely had the comms that you can plant that the other player is coming from T spawn or mid, so. And Jinx is just a really intelligent player to space, playing based on that uh, that information there. You, you gotta you gotta make like those little snap judgments and uh, just understanding your uh, hand of cards and what what can what you can play and just acting up on that. It's definitely what separates the wheat from the chaff. Good job, Jinx. Now you're keeping the flame lit. As we say. That is true. We now, again, stack. a bit of a, bit of a half buy here from the CTs, and they actually do end up getting the first kill on Vincent. This definitely should be a round that the T's are winning, but now the CTs have that Galil on Nelson. They should be, they should be, uh, the, the, the T's should have gotten the information that there's five CTs rushing them from the B bomb side based on that kill. Um, that they got on Vincent. Vincent should be yelling straight, straight throat that they're they're all pushing him. And now Zeta is actually probably going to get the first contact onto Nelson. Oh no! Don't catch it on Vendi actually. Got Vendi down from behind him, but Nelson is none the wiser. As actually Zeta is getting two kills. Flying P is getting team kill onto Twinny, and uh, yeah, that absolutely absolutely uh, extinguishes the. Hopes and dreams of the CT is trying to retake that bomb site, but nice try and nice eco. If if you get even like two kills, three kills on a on a CT eco on the, the T side, and then you can count yourself successful. Uh, on Vincent that. here has bought a Deagle, a Galil, and a Sword off. Not really showing the best uh, economy here. I think. I mean, uh, that's a personal choice, but the, the gun choice might not be the best for for definitely this uh, kind of a bigger uh stretched map you know you're not gonna hit anyone uh, over like what 500 600 units with that sort that of true so but i definitely uh, would have bought uh instead of buying all those nades would have definitely bought a rifle yeah i mean sometimes uh, utility can be even deadlier than the than the uh than the rifle but it's it it really requires you to position yourself well and you can you can make uh, make full use out of a smoke grenade and just push in with a knife and get a kill. But it's, that's a very situational. You have to you can you have to kind of manufacture the situation for yourself. Now the bomb is going. Ooh, there's gonna, a dangerous it's gonna get, plant. It's a very dangerous plant, and the player in the main, yeah, Vendi is gonna get down by Jinx with that AK. Also, is actually Crispel not headshot. going for this and trying to save on CT, but realizing that the. Map is kind of blocked off where he can't really save in a it's nice a spot though, so goes here in the B side. It's clipped up, bro. Actually, yeah, there's already been three terrorist win rounds, and I can I think we can count the the round that we're currently spectating to be another T win. Yeah. I think Jinx is actually hunting for that kill, trying to get that ace that he deserves from this round. Nelson in the heaven. This might be a kill on to Jinx. He sniffs him out and actually gets the kill. That's a nice read on the level. Really it, good ace from Jinx there. Yeah. Solidifying nice this game ace. and actually trying to starting to turn it around. Yeah, that's the first ace from the uh, in the whole game. Zeta has been three times he has been um, like one kill away from the ace, but that hasn't happened yet. But finally, 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 Jinx getting that. Ace. Did you well hear deserved. from uh, Did you hear from Twinny if this map is uh, where this map is based in? It's in Norway, Cause... so uh, yeah, it, it def it's rocking the same sort of an aesthetic as the um, 
as the bas basalt map, but that's in Iceland and the uh, same sort of like like green and uh, and um, red corrugated metal slash wood house cabin thing. That's definitely um, a northern part, uh, kind of a northern part of Scandinavia type of a beat. I actually didn't know that that is a uh, thing before Basalt came out, since all the houses here in Finland, none of them have that corrugated metal. All of them have uh, a <clears> similar <throat> look, but achieved with, uh, I would also uh, kind of call it corrugated wood. This, uh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Layered wood on top of each other. Kind so, of classical. Uh, maybe from pictures, I haven't realized that that is indeed metal, but uh, you learn stuff in CS that you wouldn't in real life. Exactly. In, uh, in, in Finland, did you... Yeah, in Finland, did you know that they they don't necessarily use paint to to paint the the wood uh, like reddish brown? They use mud. And I like, actually uh, didn't like know mud that. Color. That well, is why the red color was so popular. It was easy. Uh, yeah. Let's see, here we see Twinny getting the kill. Actually, all around city side getting those kills, and this is starting to do, look dire here on the C, uh, T side with that AK and that Deagle, and uh, really looking for that fifth. Uh, 15th round that match point on this round and another game that could very well end up 16-6 yeah. <clears throat> There was there was definitely an attempt to rush the bomb side and get a quick entry from the T side But I think I think their hopes and dreams were again getting de extinguished by the the counter strats that the CTs are pulling off here and now Vincent and this was a full buy round the next round definitely isn't going to be one Next round is looking, the economy is looking like a kind of a dire force with Jinx may be able to buy that rifle, maybe even Vincent now saving that rifle. Maybe they will be able to get, no, Vincent doesn't actually have a rifle right now, he's uh, rocking the Deagle. Vincent can might... probably drop one one gun on the next round, that is true. And if it comes down to that. Vincent kind of could find a rifle lying around somewhere if he gets this Nelson, kill on Nelson, but no, Vincent... Looking into the other side of the room, or uh, maybe cleaning off his glasses, or uh, taking a sip of his drink right there, not really <laughs> having the best reaction time on Nelson Peak in that corner. That yeah. only tends to happen sometimes, you're looking at the chat, or the map, or maybe just even blinking. True, true, true. Very slow blinks. And now Vincent is going to be AFK, just a little bit traumatized on that. Um... He could in that last round there. Been, <laughs> he could indeed have been AFK there if he lost connection here. Maybe. That is Maybe. possible. Look and at an this. Interesting boost here. What is getting boosted here? Oh, Jinx absolutely could get this kill onto Vice. He gets the kill oh. despite the boost being uh, being failed miserably. Yeah, that's an opening for the T side. There's another opening. Uh, Caesar gets that kill onto Bendy. The bomb is dropped on the ground. I don't know, really know why Jinx hasn't picked up that bomb. And now there's a te CT player covering the bomb. And now the T's are in a kind of kind of a predicament here. But Jinx finally gets the kill on to Hex. And now they have a free opening to the B bomb side. They just have to be quick enough to get that opening. And actually, right now the round has ended. It's only a couple seconds. Actually, get that bomb. round yeah. of a week by turning this not into such a fast game. Might actually. I believe, Olaf. Do you believe? I believe. You a believer? I believe. There's a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream that one day Vincent will stop buying the Deagle. I have a dream, but yeah. I don't know if that will be ever <laughs> fulfilled. I have a dream that one day he will uh, learn the correct economy and uh, and buy with the team. Right. No, we're just... Giving him a little bit of slack. Ooh, this is definitely an illegal boost here. Look at Nelson being he's... very aware of that. That's a that's a piece of no draw. You can't really. Nice, nice try with that nade. The T's are actually losing so much valuable time here, but it's just fucking around that the they they have gotten two entries here, three entries. What's going on? The T's are just messing about in the level and the. Um, the CTs I are somehow like overcommitting. I the CT team from pulling such a uh, boost. If, uh, yeah. The move for me is if you see no draw or, or are in on top of a uh, part of the map that is not on the radar, you are doing a uh, boost that is considered cheating. Yeah, committing and, uh, a fraud. But that is a felony. Felony. And, uh, You're a felon. Jimmy Fallon.
Jimmy Fallon. We can see Twinny here is just probably saving the AWP lately. Getting that nice kill on Atsik, picking that corner, not really thinking anything much of it. But the sad thing, sad truth, is that the bomb is now planted on the B bomb side and uh, Twinny is not even going to go for the retake as he should save that AWP. Jay, stop Bad slapping. But true. I I I I might I, I suspect that the T's heard the slapping sound coming from that. It wasn't me, what the fuck? Yeah, indeed Vincent also clearing the air there. Now definitely we are seeing some uh not so um, morally correct uh, ways of getting back into this game from the T side, doing that illegal boost, and that, then also that might have... buying off Jay to get that. That, that was that was slamming. that was Jay. That was Jay who, who did the uh, the console console command to, to slap the remaining CT player. This should be an easy round for the T's looking at the guns here. Let's see. It's a nice. C20 trying to fight back there. Look at this entry. Actually, Look at this entry. The T's are getting gunned down one by one, but so are the CTs now. They're, they're both very low HP. Now Hex and uh, Vice. So actually, every single player on the T team is a one shot with the Deke, I believe, to the chest. Yeah. Look Which at the bomb. means that. Vincent's yeah. rotating away with the bomb, kind of but the, that might not be the best thing to do if the, um, if the CT players get stuck into the bomb and side especially somehow. these T players not rotating in time if the CTs realized and heard, heard that Vincent was rotating they could wait for the plant and simply defuse the bomb and actually the T's might be kind of caught out here but what will happen that the CTs don't hear that the bomb is on the other bomb side because of course they suspect it's on the one that the T's are controlling right so. yeah versus cucumber actually yeah might still think that the bomb is on the other bomb side on the, on the bomb I side now B. Heard that it's not yeah it's gone down by Zera Good, good turnaround. It was kind of starting to look dangerous there from the T side, but uh, turned that into a strong win. And uh, now we're going to see that full buy finally coming in from the CT, trying to close the game out here. Look at this. Vincent has picked up a real gun, a real gun, real gun. and full utility. Every single T player has full utility, and so do the CT players have, except for. Vice, who's missing a couple of grenades, and Nelson, who's missing and that. That's still, Smith, of course, having that deagle in the pocket, though. So right, I yeah, really but that's important. That's important. It. That's a signature move, as in Caesar is now in the bomb side. He's trying to push into the B bomb side alone with that bomb. He, he one. has the C4 in his back, getting two kills now. Don't plant the bomb yet, Caesar. There's no way they're, they're supposed to plant the bomb yet. You have no. No help here whatsoever from the rest of I the team. I think the help is going to arrive before. A yeah, but look at that CT positioning. They actually, if the CTs can divide, like make a divide between that main position and the. Actually, this this is this is looking pretty good for the T's right now. I'm yeah, not we lie. also see that one flanker from the mid. The CT is gonna have to fight too. Twin is getting gone down from that main. Yeah, it's definitely looking a little bit dire. Good job from Caesar pushing in. Speaking of Caesar, he gets gunned down, but now the T's are a little bit. Divided there, Vincent, it's all Ooh, down to the you. Defuse. They I'm... get the kills! I believe! Vincent, Vincent gets one, Jinx actually gets the diffuser off of that uh, short play. That was a beautiful the... That was a beautiful spray. That could have been a double kill for Vincent if, if, if Jinx didn't act up. But yeah, that... I believe. That's all I'm gonna say. I believe. I am starting to believe too. The CT buy here, kind of last round. Looking like a uh, that was a full buy this round. Only really two players being able to buy, and then everyone else is kind of forcing along with it. We saw that right. buy yeah. ki coming from like uh, the first few seconds. So that was definitely just the uh, muscle memory buy. So actually getting the first kill here on the uh, off headshot. Yeah, hex with that negev holding that angle there. Yeah, that, there was no way that Zeta was going to get that kill. That wooden pallet getting. Spammed by Vendi uh, there, and uh, he's gonna find the kill onto Atsik. Two versus we this? four from the T side of things. Now it's one versus four from the Jinx's perspective. He's gonna get overwhelmed in the corner, and that's gonna be the game 16 to 10. Their hopes and dreams were crushed, but that was a very entertaining game. Jokes on us for believing. Jokes on us for believing. Hello, Upper Casters. Hello.
Hello. Hello. Post post game cast. Uh, what do you think of the game? That was very exciting. I gotta say, Twini absolutely carried the CT side, but the kills were very divided between the players, like nice, nice and even. Yes, and even uh, on T side, uh, Jinx and even I'd say uh, Caesar and uh, who was that? Atzik, I think, uh, being able to catch up to um, to that initial Zeta one man show that was going on on the uh, on the Zeta and Co team. Zeta and Co. Exactly. Set and co. All right, bye bye, YouTube.